Hi everyone, I only have a few minutes. These mornings are full when we're going to school, so um, I just wanted to jump on here and do Isaiah 15. We're on page 49. This is um, the Lord's judgment of Moab. It's not a happy chapter. <laughs> um, I just The thought in my mind this morning as I was reading this is that it, things don't go well when you don't obey the Lord. So um, I just want to read this to you and we'll pray. Let's look and see if I can flip the camera here. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Here's a prophecy concerning Moab. The city of Ar was devastated, destroyed in the night. The city of Kerr was devastated, destroyed in the night. The people of Debon went to their temple to weep. They went up to their high places to lament. Moab wails with sorrow over what happened to Mount Nebo and Mount Medeba. Humiliated, every head is shaved bald and every beard cut off. They pour into the streets wearing sackcloth. In public and in private, they fall down sobbing. Gosh, so sad. Okay, let's turn the page. So we're on page 50 now. And this finished chapter 15. The cities of Heshbon and Eliaza, Elia cry out. The vo their voices, sorry, it's not good lighting here. Their voices are heard as far away as Jehaz. Even the bravest warriors of Moab are shaken to the core. Even the bravest warriors are shaken to the core. Wow. My heart cries out to the people of Moab for her fugitives who flee to Zoar and to Eglath. Let's see, Shalishia. Weeping, they climb the upward road to Luthith. Luthith. Their loud cries of anguish are heard all along the way to Hanaram. Gosh, you know, even though these are loud cries and they can be heard, what about the cries of people I'm thinking that can't be heard, you know, that we don't even know that are just going on in their hearts all day long? Oh, the river Nimrim has dried up. We need to restore people to their father. That's what has to happen for them to have wholeness again. The river Nimrim has dried up the grass, has dried up, the grass has withered, new growth has failed, then vegetation has vanished. Therefore, the refugees take with them over the wadi of the willows, hmm, the wadi of the willows, their possessions and the wealth they have acquired. From one end of the land to the other, Moab is weeping. Her wailing reaches to Eglim and, and Bar Elim. For the waters of demon are full of blood, but I've, I have something even worse in store for them. Lions for the fugitives of Moab and upon the remnant of the land. Oh, my goodness. There's all the meanings of the words down here, like um, Heshbon means intelligence or human reasoning. Eli Eliela means ascent of God or God has ascended. Jo Jehaz means trampled on. Mm -hmm. Zoar means small or reduced. Eglath, Shelishia means a three year old he heifer. Luhith means polished or made of planks. Oronam means double caves or two hollows and so forth. Um, yeah, okay, and then it gets into chapter 16, which is a cry for mercy. So um, let's just pray for that mercy to come early today in our life and into the lives of those that we love. Lord, we just exalt your name above all other names today, and we say that you are you are worthy to be trusted and worthy to be followed. 
And we ask God, I just pray for your mercy to come early today in Jesus' name. Protect us all now. Amen. See you tomorrow.